Sheet metal base flange features have been improved beginning in SOLIDWORKS 2026 to include new from conditions, which control where the feature begins and now provide more flexibility when designing sheet metal parts. More specifically, these new options allow existing sketches to be reused to create base flanges in various positions without requiring additional new sketches or planes. This can be particularly useful in multi-body part design, so stick around. We're showing you how to take advantage of them in this two-minute tech tip. To demonstrate this new capability, we'll be using this electrical cabinet assembly, which is constructed from several individual components modeled with sheet metal features. The door component, however, is imported and will not respond to any changes made to the rest of the cabinet. In previous years, we were limited to starting base flanges from the plane they were sketched on, so reusing existing design information typically required the creation of an additional plane, an additional sketch, or both, and that meant more information to manage and potentially lose track of. The new from conditions for sheet metal base flange features can be used with a multi-body part modeling strategy to recreate the cabinet door so that it shares the same sketch used to create the main body of the cabinet. I'll start by editing the cabinet model in the context of the larger router assembly, and from here I can create a base flange feature using the same sketch that was used to create the main cabinet. You will now find a from dropdown in the property manager that didn't exist in previous versions. Here you can select to start the base flange from the sketch plane, which was the default in previous versions, or choose from one of the new options including surface face plane, vertex, or offset. Since the intent is to replace the imported door component with a solid body in the proper position, I'll use the surface face plane option and select the back side of one of the controls as my reference. This ensures the base flange starts exactly where I need it to, and all the other sheet metal parameters and features are available as usual. Most importantly though, the new from conditions enable strategic reuse of the original base sketch, so any changes to the dimensions of the cabinet will update the door, and this approach is now possible without creating additional planes or copying any sketch geometry. This is just one of many potential use cases for the new from conditions in base flange features, so try them out and see what you think. If you're looking for more in-depth tutorials on sheet metal design, be sure to take a look at our course on SOLIDWORKS Sheet Metal, where we cover best practices for beginners, as well as several advanced design strategies. And if you're looking to learn more about what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2026, be sure to check out the rest of this series. Thanks for watching.